I'm Danny from Pink Noise Systems and in this video I'll be looking at the WYSIWYGON MPL52 dual channel receiver. This video is a first look, meaning that I've had some time with the unit, now I'm showing you some of the cool stuff that I've learned. To start with, let's look at the menu layout. Like other WYSIWYGON units, the menu is compact, which means there are a lot of sub-menus within sub-menus. For example, to go into group frequencies, you have to go into advanced, and into edit RX1 or RX2, and then into frequencies. So it can take some time to get your head around the menu, but once you have time with it, it's quite easy to figure out. Going into the buttons, they're quite rigid. It's difficult to press down on them by accident, which is good. But you can also press down on the power button once, once the unit is on, and this will lock the screen and the buttons. There are shortcuts using the buttons, which are shown on the unit. There's sync, menu, and scan. By pressing the two buttons next to whatever word you press, it takes you to that option. Like pressing save and power takes you to the menu. One shortcut that isn't mentioned anywhere is headphone output volume. By pressing up and down at the same time, this lets you change the headphone output. This changes from minus 57 decibels to plus 6 decibels, so you've got a strong output. You need a TA5F twin 3 pin XLR Mayo cable to use both channels of your dual channel receiver. The out RX1 and out RX2 go up to 18 decibels, which gives a strong output going into line level devices. Earlier WYSICOM MPR41 units have low output, they only go up to 12 decibels, so there's a big difference there. Another thing to look out for is the expander options. There are 12 expander options for the MPR52, and I'll show you those now. Depending on what transmitter you're connecting to, you choose the expander option for that system. You can hear the difference in expander options when you change to them, just be sure you're using the correct expander option for your transmitter otherwise you will start to lose audio quality. Also be careful as some expander options may create deafening tones if the expander option is wrong for your system. WYSICOM have departed from the metal casing with the MPR52. The casing is made of a strong plastic making it durable and lightweight. In conclusion, the WYSICOM MPR52 has the widest bandwidth in the world, very lightweight, it's durable, and the battery life lasts for about five hours. Hopefully this video has given you some insight into the WYSICOM MPR52. All units are available on the Pink Noise Systems website. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with all of our latest deals. I'm Danny from Pink Noise Systems. Thanks for watching.